So a few weeks ago I decided to contact Ironside. I really never expected to get a reply with my 40k views, but I did for some reason. And after a few emails they decided to sponsor me the Nemesis Ultra. And it's here. And the box it came in was huge. Inside the box were two other boxes. In the first one was this mouse pad from Ironside. And in the second box was the Nemesis Ultra. The Nemesis Ultra has really good components, including a GeForce RDX 2080 and a i9-9900K processor. And I even got this. So a big thanks to Ironside for sponsoring this video. You can head over to their site, ironsidecomputers.com and customize your own PC and get 5% off with code FOOLSROX. So... A long time ago, I decided to make a video where I would play Minecraft Survival in a bordered world. So here we have it, 5x5 five five bordered survival. It turns out that we lost the world. So <laughs> every time someone asked for part 2, I couldn't make it because the world is gone. <laughs> Not very good, I know. So I decided to make a new one to just all over again. So the basic concept of this challenge is the world is uh, bordered. So it's here, a five by five border. Every Minecraft day, this border is going to expand by one full block. As you can see, it's green now and it's slowly expanding. And that means because it's expanding to this block, I can walk through it. So I can walk through this block, but not any further. Let's just begin chopping some wood, I guess. Let's be honest, guys. No one likes to see someone just chop some wood. <laughs> it's, it's boring as, as hell. I'm just going to make a pickaxe here to get some uh, stone. So we can make a stone axe for the wood. Okay, so we instantly found some coal right here. That's always nice. So the thing is, the first days of this survival are going to be the worst because we are just limited to this tiny space. So in a few days, it's gonna be much more easier to play this, that's for sure. So, I got my axe right here, and we're just gonna mine, mine, chop off this wood. Oh, shit. Oh, and most of you know I'm actually Dutch, and you can hear that. I pronounce words weird. Okay, so it's almost night time already. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. It's cold fucking non-stick! I probably only can just mine off this out.
Did you hear that sound, guys? That was the sound of the first pickaxe breaking in my new world. As you can see on the edges of my screen, it's kind of uh, red. That's because I'm close to the border. Every time you are close to the border, it becomes red. And because this border is very close to me, it's always going to be red on my screen. So the first furnace is made because I really need an iron pickaxe. It's going to take very long if I have to do all of this only with a stone pickaxe. By the way, I'm going to make a Discord server soon as well. Because I really feel like that way you have more interaction with your viewers. We can maybe do some nice uh, things there like inviting people to this survival world. I really need to find some iron right now because I don't want to mine with a stone pickaxe. I really don't. Fuck. <laughs> oh shit, we have gold guys. Nothing bad can happen now. Just said, you know, right now. Oh no 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 This is the worst thing that can happen in a border survival. Oh no. Look at this. Oh no shit. I really don't even know how we, how we can fix this. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> 